So let's just recap. What primer would you use? What is the name? And can you buy it at any Benjamin Moore store? Prime Lock by Insulex. Yes, you can buy it at any Benjamin Moore. Okay. And what was the product you would recommend to apply? Or a bath and spa. Or a bath and spa. And that only comes in a matte sheen or a flat finish? It only comes in a matte. Excellent. So I just landed a job. It's a kitchen job and she wants her ceiling repainted, but there's also a skylight in the middle of this kitchen ceiling. Um, so there's, there's an island in the middle of the kitchen and on the island is two big sinks. And then right above the island is this deep skylight. And when I went in there to take a look at it, uh, the ceiling, the, the paint is just blistering. It's flaking, it's checking, it's alligatoring. So the first thing I do is I'd scrape it all. Second thing I do is probably sand it down a little bit. And then I, I assume, or I, I, I think that I'm going to have to skim some of the uh, chipped edging out uh, with some drywall mud. I'll let that dry, like come back, sand it down to a nice finish. I'll probably put a little bit of caulking around the bead of where the window meets the walls because in the past I've noticed that's uh, a failure point that happens quite a bit. Um, so that was going to be my general uh, prep. But then I was going to use, and what I usually use is a, an acrylic latex primer called Zinser 123. It generally works well on most applications, but in this situation, high moisture, I wanted to get your advice. What do you think? Uh, I, I think 10 times out of 10, I'm deferring to an oil-based primer in a situation where there's that much moisture. Um, sounds like, you know, there could be some underlying issues, but putting a good solid foundation of an oil-based primer down will, will prevent any more water driving in and uh, driving into that wall and, uh, you know, assisting in making that paint fail. So you, you definitely think it's better than using acrylic latex? In this situation, I do. I, I don't think it's wrong to use an acrylic latex in this situation, but any time that I, I'm coming across a lot of moisture, it just screams oil to me. And, you know, I, as we move into modern technology and the latexes, are, they perform great. There's so many great products out there now and oil is becoming more and more obsolete. There's just some situations where you know, that, that old school oil is just going to come into play. And this sounds like one of them. What product does Benjamin Moore have that you'd recommend? And is it stinky? Uh, yeah. So uh, we, we'd recommend Prime Lock in this situation. I've used it myself in, in a similar high moisture situation. Um, you're never going to really get away from the, the oil smell, even with an odorless oil primer. It's always going to be there. It's, it's going to have a scent. What I can tell you, though, about Prime Lock um, if you were to compare it to say like a Zinser product like cover stain, uh, it, it has about a hundred grams per liter less of zero VOC. And another bonus to that product is it, it's higher volume solids. So you're leaving more on the surface uh, after evaporation. Is it advisable put, to put a second coat of primer just to like seal that down or is that not necessary? Uh, generally most situations, I, I don't feel like it's necessary if you're going to get a good solid base down, but once you, pop up into that skylight there i think you're going to really notice what type of damage is on that wall and if that is a definitely a high moisture content wall um or a little space there you you'll you'll know i think you'll get a gut feeling being an experienced painter if you should maybe just spend the time while you're up there to put another coat on just to make sure you got a really good seal okay and does that go directly over like drywall mud and drywall and the previous paint coating yeah, it's essentially a multi-purpose oil. So your oil version of a multi-purpose water race. Awesome. So I got it. I'm going to use that product to seal it. Uh, how long do I need to wait until I can apply the first coat of the paint? Uh, you're going to want to wait two to four hours, but I think it's going to depend on the environment. Um, if it's, you know, high moisture up there, it may remain tacky for longer. Um, if you can't force any air up there, if it's, if it's hot in there, it may be a little quicker. But uh, I'd give it at least two and then check it out and see where you're going from there. I guess onto the paint now, what paint would you recommend from Benjamin Moore that will be the best solution for this client so that it doesn't flake and it reduces or it helps reduce the moisture in that? What product would you use? Uh, the one off the top of my head is going to be the Aura Bath and Spa. Um, uh, not only because it's going on a ceiling in a high light reflection area, it comes in a matte finish. It actually only comes in a matte finish, but uh, it, it's designed to handle moisture uh, mildew, all that, all the, all the funky stuff you're going to get with water. Okay. So what's the difference, I guess, what's the difference between that and just your regular flat ceiling latex? 
you're going to get the the mildicides and the fungicides and you're also probably in a higher end product so you're going to have more durability uh you're also going to get nicer design out of that you're going to get better color development if you've chosen uh chantilly lace or simply white you're going to get a color that's true to form and not dirty chalky. So let's just recap. What primer would you use? What is the name? And can you buy it at any Benjamin Moore store? Prime Lock by Insulex. Yes, you can buy it at any Benjamin Moore. Okay. And what was the product you would recommend to apply? Or a bath and spa.